Measurement Length Hey Starry, I want to buy a new tablecloth. The old one has torn a little. But I am not sure how big the tablecloth should be. Wait, I have an idea. We shall first measure the length of the table and then I can get the tablecloth of that size. Starry, we shall measure the length of this table with a span. A span is formed when the fingers are spread out. The length of this table is 7 spans. Hey Starry, we can also measure the length of the table using an arm length. An arm length is also known as a cubit. Let's measure the length of the table. The length of the table is 3 arm lengths or 3 cubits. Okay, now let me go to buy the tablecloth measuring 7 spans or 3 arm lengths. Starry, just like we use a span or an arm length to measure the length, we can also use the feet and base for measuring lengths. Look at the picture shown here. Ram is measuring the length of his room using his foot. The length of his room is 20 foot lengths. But Starry, what if Ram had to measure the length of his garden? Measuring by foot would take a long time. So Ram measured the length of the garden with his pace. It was eight paces long. Starry, can you think of any other way in which we can measure the length? Yes, we can also measure the length using a pencil or a stick or a rod. Starry, Take a look at these two pictures. In the first picture, we see that the girl measured the length of the blackboard by using arm lengths. Its length was four arm lengths. In the second picture, the teacher has measured the length of the same blackboard using her arm lengths. Now the length of the blackboard is three arm lengths. In the pictures given here, the length of the carpet was measured by the boy using his foot length. The length was 12 foot lengths. The same carpet was measured by his father using the foot length. Now the length of the carpet was 9 foot lengths. Can you tell Starry why is there a difference in the lengths of the same objects? You are smart Starry. The number of arm lengths or foot lengths counted by both the people in each picture is not the same because the length of their arms or feet is not the same. Hey Starry, see here are some chart papers. Let's measure the length of this chart paper using a ruler. The length of the chart paper is two ruler lengths. 
What happened, Starry? You had already measured the lengths of the chart paper using the same scale. What answer did you get? Two ruler lengths. That's great. So it means if we measure the length of the object with the same instrument, then the measures remain the same, no matter who measures it. Starry, let us now find the lengths of these rods. The rods have been labelled A, B, C and D to identify them. Let us use the scale again. The length of the rod A is two ruler lengths. Now let's measure the length of rod B. The length of the rod B is three ruler lengths. What is the measure of the third rod starry? It looks the smallest. Hey, its length is only one ruler length. Now let's measure the last rod. Its length is equal to the length of rod B. That is three ruler lengths. Starry, out of rod A and rod B, which rod has less length? Yes, the length of rod A is less than the length of rod B. Out of rod C and D, whose length is more? Yes, the length of rod D is more than the length of rod C. Starry, here are the names of some articles. You have to give the best possible method of measuring their lengths. The first one is a book. How will you measure its length, Starry? Yes, by using the span of your hand. The height of the cupboard is best measured by an arm length. What about the length of the ground, Starry? Yes, we measure it by using the pace of the foot. The last is the length of the ribbon. We can measure it using an arm length. 